to call the organization that uh, Jeff and Bob belong to, the National Socialist Party, that believes America should be a white homeland and anybody who's not white ought to get out of their way. Um, this is the voicemail that you might hear if you call. This is their message on their machine. Let's play that. You have reached the National Socialist Movement. We will be judge, jury, and executioner. Your future and your children's future is on the line. It's time to enlist in the fight for a white homeland. Do your parents agree with what you're doing? I'm not going to talk about my parents. No, they don't agree with it. They don't? No. I bet they're ashamed. If a person should be ashamed of another person for being proud of their race, then there's a problem. Mm -hmm. Bob, what do your parents say? They're against it, but they let me do my own thing, you know. They, they, they understand what I'm doing and they let See, me what do I'd it. Like to, what I'd like to say, you know, is that, uh, you know, you're going to always single us out. All the talk shows always do this kind of stuff. Make I'm us not look like, like all the talk no, shows, sir. L l let me finish. <laughs> they make us, they make us uh, look like uh, haters and all this kind of stuff. When you've got people from every race that are proud of their people, that want to stand up and do something about it. And that's all we're doing. And, and they... You know, you try to make us look bad. Say that everything... I think you make hate. yourself you look wrong. bad. I'm not doing so. anything to make you look so. bad. I think that's on you, sir. I just wanted to point out, before you kept uh, referring to Johnny as a traitor, perhaps he just woke up and maybe soon you'll do the same. Mm. Uh, when I listened to your message, you said you would be the executionist. Mm. Well, my husband survived a group of executionists called Nazis. Mm. So I would suggest if you want to execute anybody, start with yourselves. The Holocaust was, was a, a hoax. Lie. A hoax. Lie. It was a big lie, and you big know Hollywood it. Production. It was a Hollywood hoax. We got all the figures. I'm a reporter on a Let's teen go, oh, national God. TV show called In the Mix, and um, I interview teens every day. Um, I think what we're seeing here is two teens who are looking out to be loved, and I think that's a big problem in this country. We see, no, seriously, no I think we're seeing gang activity because so, they're, so they're kids who are not being cared for. If, and you, if you believe that, what can we do for teenagers like that who you believe are so misguided by a lack of love? Really, I, 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 unfortunately, I don't see any hope for them. I think what we need to do, the reason why we have teen gangs and we have people like this is because they're young people who are not getting the care and the support in their homes that they need. So they find these organizations that tell them they're great you and we love them. You misunderstand. We are going to stomp out gang activity. We are going to stomp out drug drugs, users, everything. abortion, all these terrible things that are destroying this country. We're going to stomp them out. Come on. I got a question. You said that you want to go where you, it's only your race and you want to actually kick everyone out of New York City because it's a sewer. Why won't you just go into the middle of the country where it is all your race well, and that, make it a lot easier that, that, for yourselves? That's the plan. The, so, that's the plan. I don't don't know, we're, you know, Stop the complaining about it. You can, you can have New York City. New York City is it's beyond a, it's lost. Gone. It's, it's gone. It's, it's gone. We <laughs> want a white homeland. It doesn't matter where it is. Well, like, in the Declaration of Independence, it says that there's people with liberty and justice for all. If you want to kick people out of like where they're living. They have a right to be there. They have a right to think their own things. They have a right to go about their own business. Why do you think that you can just come in and just push them out? Don't the place we have that they a right with? to live in a, in a white, safe you place? You don't have a right to push them out. Where, where, where we can walk down the street without getting mugged and shot by these savages and these gang members? Mm -hmm. I don't yes. have white people. I haven't, I haven't had white people attack me for walking down the street, but the minorities will. And a woman cannot walk the seat. Yeah. What's that, sir? Come on, come on, come on. Wait, wait, wait. What's that? I got a comment for you. I'm black and I'm with a white girl. And you say you want to separate things like that? I wouldn't have this if it, if it went your way. That's right. That's right. And That's right. this is what I have. This is what I live for. If you want to, if you want to go live in your own country, away from us, and do your race mixing thing, whatever you want to do, that's fine by us. But we want a country of our own. Mm -hmm. oh, yeah. Where is, where is it? Where is it? How can we go there? You know, he, he mentioned that he lives in. A, he wants to live in a place where a white person can walk down the street, or he lives in a place where white people walk down the street and get mugged, get shot at by all these minorities. Uh, he wants, to, but. Uh, when he goes to a white neighborhood, that doesn't happen to no, him. No, it doesn't. Well, no, I think if you doesn't. came to my white neighborhood dressed like that, it might happen Whoa. ten times as much as it happens in these minorities. <laughs> because I just want to 
say another thing. I, I, I do respect. I, I do respect that he wants this promised land of his own because we all want our own promised land. Uh, but uh, if you're, if you want a white, uh, a are white sure promise. Are you white? Are you, are you Jewish yeah. or are you white? What what is what color is my skin? No, I think I know you're Jewish. Sure. Yes, what what color is my skin? No, you're Jewish. Cain. What color is my skin? Answer that question the for devil, me. The seed of Cain. It says so in the Bible. Okay, that's fine Bible, by you. But what red. color is my skin? Green. Oh, it's green. Okay, well then you need you need glasses or something, okay? Because I am white, okay? Not, it's on my birth certificate. Not, listen, let me ask you this: feels. as a white man listening to a young white, white man talking about this type of thing, what does that do <clears throat> to you? Makes me feel pathetic inside and, and kind of nauseous uh, because you know these are two young men with a lot of energy, and you, you, you can see that if it was just turned around and put in the right direction, they could really do a lot of creative things in this world. Um, I'm also an angry quote unquote white man. It hasn't been easy for me. I'm married. I have two kids. I've had more peaks and valleys in my life than the Rocky Mountains. But you know what? I don't wake up in the morning and say, God, because that person got the job instead of me or because I got fired or because of this, I'm going to pick up a gun or wear a swath sticker and uh, provoke this type of um, insinuation that uh, I'm going to liberate the white people to this extreme. If you want to be white and you want to uh, 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 find this homeland of yourself, that's fine. But what you're indicating by just your outfit alone is, with the swastika sticker is you're not just looking to love the white people. You're looking to hate everyone around you because that's what that swastika sticker symbolizes. That's, uh, that's you know? number one. You don't even know us. Wait, that's you know? number one. No, number two is, I'm just curious to you're know. You're judging me. You're prejudging me. Because I do respect what you're saying in regards to the, you want a white homeland. That, that's a beautiful thing. And, and, I, and I hope it happens for you, but not in the way that, that you're construing it. Mm. Um, but I just want to ask you a question or two. Um, when you were a child, were you a, a beautiful? Wait, let me take, let me, let me take a break. Stop. Let me take a break. He's so good. I don't want him to stop. But let, let's take a quick break real quick. No also, you know, as young girls, many of us started joining social clubs around the age of 10 years old. You know, things like the Girl Scouts and the 4-H Club and maybe even the Little League. But at the age of 10, our next guest joined the Ku Klux Klan. Now she's all grown up. She's 20 years old. She's raising her two-year-old daughter who wore her first KKK robe at only one month old. We're going to meet Wendy and her little daughter Ashlyn right after this.